Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Earlier today, I made several videos on making a seamless pattern, but I started thinking this will not work for a seamless pattern, but it would be a pretty neat way to draw and have like a round continuous pattern. Uh, just a couple of key steps you need to take, and later on I'll explain that. So I've got an ellipse, and it doesn't matter what size. I'm going to hit P. It's big, so I'm going to make my nudge factor like 20 inches. I am going to use a two-point line, and I'm going to go down, making it bigger than an ellipse, and hit P. And then I'm going to rotate it 10 degrees. And then I'm going to control D and make a duplicate, and I'm going to mirror it. So I've got 20 degrees in there. Now we're going to take the Smart Fill tool, fill it in. The color doesn't matter. I'm going to have to get it off that page. And I am going, it's uh, left click, right click. Very important to nudge it so you can put that right back. Then we're going to use the, the tool I used earlier today, this live sketch tool. We're going to do the exact same thing we did. We're going to draw uh, some patterns. And uh, this is where your artistic ability would uh, come into play, and um, which I have very little. And uh, see, if you don't do it right, you get a line. So we're going to back up. You need to go right back to that same point to make it finish like that. I'm going to keep zooming in and out because I'm. Um, you can go like before. You you don't want to do that. You can go off the page and not worry about it. And if you, uh, I'm going to quit going off the page here and just do some different looks. And then what's good about this, you could still add to this. See, I got a line there, so I'm going to start over. Evidently, if you don't grab that endpoint, it won't do it. That one's got a little bit of a bad spot. The, uh, the drawing tool is going to, um, it actually snaps to those lines. I'm going to back up here and start that over. And so if you get near the, see how it's trying to snap to that line? That's pretty cool. I can fix that one later. I'm not doing a very good job of showing you how to do this. So let's do some bigger patterns and make it kind of... Uh, that might work. I didn't, I didn't know you could finish that up. Um, I'm going to try a bunch of, I had not noticed it before that it basically is snapping to that line, but we can, you know, like in the previous video, we can fix all that. And you could do a lot with this and you could even contour lines, you know, if, to get different, like I'm kind of going in the same pattern, you know, just doing it. Uh, just a few more. You want to keep it, to me, What I, I've only made one of these. You want to kind of keep it, uh, you don't want to like just a bunch of dots at the end, because that's what you're going to have. So if you notice, I went off one side with one side, and now I'm going to make kind of an elaborate drawing. See how it looks when I'm done. That's pretty cool. But that you'll never know what you get till you're done. That's what's nice about this. Now, all that tough we could fix, too. So I'm going to go one more. I didn't mean to take this long. Let's see if we can't finish that line. Nope. Well, let's just delete that. I probably need to see it's actually trying to snap to other lines. I just wonder if we take snap to object off and see if that helps. I'm learning as you're learning. Get rid of that line. Yes, yeah, snap to object was causing that to snap. Um, just put a little... Sorry about that. Let me zoom in.
Okay, we're gonna call that good. Now, just like in the previous video, I've got a few mistakes here and that, that wouldn't really matter. We can delete those nodes and see what it does. I got a rough spot right there. I'm trying to make it look more smooth. So we're, uh, that'll look good. So that's good enough. So what you need to do now is take this and move it out of the way, nudge it. Then take this and group it together. If you don't do that, then the um, next step won't work. So now we're gonna go here and intersect it, and we get that. Now here's the key to this whole thing. Just like in the previous video, we need to mirror that carbon copy. So if we could control D, look what happens. That doesn't work. Now if you remember this is 20 degrees, so we need to rotate it 10 degrees to get it perpendicular on this side. Now control D, holding down the control button and mirror it over that way. Now at this point, we could probably go ahead and weld that, get rid of those. Well, there's still gonna be some center line. Uh, tell you what we could do, instead of doing that, we should take all this and fill it in with black. There we go. And then you could take away the outline. This is gonna look pretty cool. Now, I'm gonna nudge this back over to the start. We don't need these lines, so I'm gonna take the, matter of fact, I want, I, you know what, I wanna keep the lines for just a second. Now we need to rotate it back that 10 degrees, well, negative 10. And see, we get that right there. Now it's kind of in line. Now we want to take this and move the center rotation to the center. Make sure it's there, and it is. Now we're going to go ahead, instead of rotating, we're going to go to Windows, Dockers, Transformer, Transformation, and we're going to go 40 degrees, and we need eight of them. Look at that. Now take away your line, your line and your outside line. And something to play with. I mean, that's that's pretty cool. Anyway, I think it's actually better than the first one. I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.